So directions. Answer the following questions based on the given information. Answer the following questions based on the given information. Yeah. The numbers given in the table show the probabilities a player can play one of the sports only. So he's talking about, I think, different players, right? Adam, Andrew, Ricky, Damien, Nathan, and Clark. And then what are the different sports? Cricket, football, hockey, rugby, and swimming. Probabilities have been given. The numbers given in the table shows the probabilities a player can play one of the sports only. So a player can play like Adam can either play cricket or football or hockey or rugby or swimming. By the way, this is missing data. There's some data missing here, right? I'm sure you are, ex you know, you, you must be looking for such questions because, you know, we have seen that in the recent past, questions on missing data have been asked in the exams, right? Data as such is not missing. Indirectly, you have to, in indirectly, it will be given in the uh, question. You can, you can find it out. I think this is a key point, right? A player, a player can play one of the sports only. What does it mean? Understand, when you say a player can play one of the sports only, the overall probability, see, each player will play one of the sports. <coughs> Like Adam can play any one of these five sports, Andrew can play any one of these five sports, Ricky can play any one of these five sports. Yeah, but only one sport. So which means the probability of Adam playing a sport is one. The total probability is one. Total probability for each one of them is one. And this one has been distributed across five sports. So in cricket, the probability is 0 0.18. 0 0.18 probability means what? 18 by 100, which is like 9 by 50, right? Probability is 9 by 50, basically. Anyway, you can also take it in decimals. So, the probability that Adam plays cricket is 0 0.18. Probability that Adam plays uh, football is 0 0.17. And that he plays hockey is 0 0.2. Right? The probability that Adam plays swimming is 0 0.27. Now, the balance has to come for rugby. So, if at all, I have to find out what is the probability that Adam plays rugby. How can this question mark be calculated? Total probability is 1. From that, subtract the other probabilities. 0 0.18 minus 0 0.17 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.27 similarly this question mark is nothing but one minus all these other four probabilities right probability that ricky can play cricket or football or hockey or rugby or swimming is one total probability is one of which distribution has been given to you balance will come here the balance would come here as simple as that yeah so so if i have to just fill up the values like like for example one one particular case let's say 18 and 17 this is like 100 i mean consider one can be taken as 100 and this decimals can be neglected. Anyway, 18 and 17 is 35, 35 and 20 is 55, 55 plus 27 is 82, right? So 100 minus 82 or 1 minus 0.82, this will be 0.18. Similarly, if you look at the other ones, like for example, Ricky, uh, 11 and 15 is 26, 26 and 25 is 51, 51 and 23 is 74, right? So 74. 100 or 1 minus 0 0.74 this will be 0 0.26 and and so on so basically we can we can find out the probabilities by taking the difference from one right taking the difference from one so let me present the questions now yeah so simple data i think it's important that you understand what all can be extracted from the data before you start uh, solving the questions so that has been understood let me present the first question to you all so here's the first one, same table with those missing values. The question says, what is the percentage chance? Now percentage chance is nothing but probability in terms of percentage. So convert probability into percentage. So what is the probability indirectly? What is the probability that Andrew will join hockey if every student can join only one sport? What is the probability that Andrew will join hockey if every student can join only one sport? Now this is a sitter in my view, should not take more than 0.19 is nothing but 19 percentage so this is a sitter we have already discussed how to solve this one right when we're trying to understand the data what is the percentage chance that andrew will join hockey if every student can join only one sport so basically this point which says every student can join only one sport means what the total probability of every student is one yeah like we had discussed earlier so probability of andrew joining hockey which is missing here so 1 minus the balance so 45 20 65 65 and 7 is 72 and 9 is 81 100 minus 81 is 19 or 0.19 this is 0.19 basically which is 19 percentage so option 3 is the answer yeah let me present the next one here's the next question what is the probability that either adam or andrew will join swimming interesting question let's see how many of you get the right answer look at the average time average time spent is 71 seconds for this and the accuracy has been just 22 percentage 
So what is the probability that either Adam or Andrew will join swimming? Probability that either Adam or Andrew will join swimming. Okay, so let's take it up. I think most of you have got option 5 as the answer. But then many others have got option 4.31. So how do we solve this? Let's see. So here we go. The question says, what is the probability that either Adam or Andrew will join swimming? Understand? It, it is very important to, uh, you know, get the meaning of the question very clearly. Right? Either Adam or Andrew should join swimming. Both of them cannot join. Adam and Andrew. Any one of these two guys have to go for swimming. Right? Any one of these two guys have to go for swimming. Both of them cannot go. Now, <clears throat> when is this possible? See, there are two cases possible. Probability. When he says either or. I mean, either Adam joins or Andrew joins. That's the case, right? And, and you know that in case of probability or permutations and combinations, or would mean plus. Which operator will you use? You'll use plus, right? If it is and, you'll use multiplication. Yes or no? If it is and, both Adam and Andrew have to join swimming, then we'll multiply the two probabilities. But since it is about or, we'll have to add the two probabilities. Yeah? Now, uh, how do we solve this? Remember that when he says either Adam or Andrew, it, it is like this. Either... You don't have to write this in the exam, but either Adam or Andrew, right? When is this possible? Possible in these cases, right? If Adam joins, then Andrew should not join. Or if a a Andrew has to join, then Adam should not join. This is what you need to do. See a dash here, I mean, Andrew dash would mean probability of Andrew not joining swimming. AD means probability of Adam joining swimming. AD dash means probability of Adam not joining swimming. AN would mean probability of Andrew joining swimming. So dash is negative of the, this thing. Right? So basically what I'm saying is Adam joins. Andrew does not join. And vice versa. Or, this is or. Or, Andrew joins. In that case, Adam should not join. Andrew joins, but Adam should not join. Adam does not join. See, you don't have to write this just for the sake of explanation. So, how will you simplify this? See, <coughs> uh, so your answer will be equal to this. Adam, probability of Adam joining swimming, 0 0.27. 0 0.27. Into probability of Andrew not joining swimming. See, the probability that Andrew can join is 0 0.09, which means not joining is what? 0.91. Similarly here, probability that Adam can join is 0.27. So not joining is what? 0.73. You're able to follow. 1 minus, see, probability of Adam joining swimming or not joining swimming is 1. Total probability is 1. So from 1 when I subtract 0.27, I'll get the probability of Adam not joining swimming. Similarly, from 1 when I subtract 0 0.09, I'll get the probability of Andrew not joining swimming. So if Adam joins, Andrew should not join. So I'll multiply 0 0.27 with 0 0.91. Or the second case, Adam should not join. Adam should not join means the probability is 0.73. But Andrew should join. Andrew joining is 0.09. Multiply this and get the required answer. Again, this will give you the final answer. So basically, it's like dividing by uh, 10,000. I mean, if you can neglect the decimals, 27 into 91 plus 73 into 9 divided by 10,000. Do the calculation, you will get approximately 0 0.31, right, which is option 4. Let, let me let us not waste our time in doing the calculations here i'm sure you can do it yourself but that's the whole idea okay if one person joins the other should not join if the second person joins then the first one should not join so take the probabilities accordingly okay and since he's talking about or we have used plus here clear so 0 0.31 option 4 is going to be the final answer all those who have got 0 0.31 are correct others be careful okay should we go for the next one now? I hope all of you have followed. If there is, if there is uh, no confusion in the concept which has been covered here, I can go to the next one. Calculations, I leave it to you because we are running short on time. We have to close the session by 9 o'clock. We are at 8.47 already. So let us quickly look at the remaining questions also from this data interpretation set and then, then close it. Yeah. So if it is clear, I can go to the next one. Calculation, I'm sure you will do it yourself. Yeah, got it.
yeah 0 0.3114 is the exact answer like what uh, Ashish has mentioned there okay let me present the next question now the time is running by so the next question is on your screens here what is the probability that Adam will join anything but cricket or football simple one what is the probability that Adam will join anything but cricket or football meaning he can join any sport but he should not join cricket or football he should not join cricket or football so Adam can join hockey can join rugby can join swimming but he should not join cricket or football he should not join cricket or football so how do you solve this there are see now the the biggest question mark is what is the probability that Adam will join rugby so you can maybe find that out and then add these through uh, add these three right see we want these three right so you can join hockey or rugby or swimming so 0 0.20 plus question mark plus 0 0.27 you know how to find a question mark or what will a smart person do you know that the total is one so from one if I subtract these two I'll get the rest so no need to find out what is question mark I can directly say that the answer will be 1 minus 0 0.18 minus 0 0.17 so from the total probability I'm subtracting the probability of joining cricket and the probability of joining football which will give me the required answer from the total probability of one subtract the probability of joining cricket and probability of joining football so 18 and 17 is 35 1 minus 0 0.35 will be 0 0.65 and option 4 0.65 is your answer I'm sure that's a sitter I mean given that you are thorough in the concepts of probability assuming that you're thorough in the concept of probability you should be able to solve this very quick let me present the next question now here we go what is the probability that Clark Nathan and Damien all will, will all join football what is the probability that all three will join football? Option one, did you look at option one? Yes. So simple question, right? What is the probability that these three guys join football? Now, now understand and Clark and Nathan and Damien, all three of them should join football. So it is in multiplication, right? These are not three different cases. He's not saying either Clark or Nathan or Damien. He's saying Clark and Nathan and Damien, all three should join football. So what will I do? Probability of Damien joining football is 0 0.06. Multiplied by probability of Nathan joining football is 0 0.13. And that for Clark is 0 0.11. That's it. So 6 into 13 into 11. Now look at the options. I mean options are in terms of 10 to the power of minus 5, minus 6 and so on. Right. So I can say this is like 6 into 13 into 11 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Each one is 10 to the power of minus 2. So 10 to the power of minus 6 is the overall uh, decimal part there. 6 into 13 into 11. So 13 11 is 143. 143 into 6 will be 840 plus 18 840 plus 18 is 858 yes so 858 into 10 to the power of minus 6 option 1 will be the final answer okay remember simple rule and means multiplication both in permutations and combinations and probability or means two different cases so it has to be added next question on your screens now what is the probability that either Damien or Nathan will join rugby now similar to what we have done in the previous case right either Andrew or Adam had to join swimming here either Damien or Nathan will join rugby either so same thing again either Damien join, joining rugby is 0 0.26 so Damien not joining rugby is how much 0 0.74 similarly Nathan joining rugby is 0 0.24 so not joining rugby is 0 0.76 so what do we do he wants either or to join I mean either Damien or Nathan to join rugby so if Damien joins Nathan should not join. If Nathan joins, Damien should not join. This is what you need to do. So your answer will be 0 0.26 into 0 0.76 or which means plus 0 0.24 into 0 0.74. Do the calculation. I'll, I'll leave the calculation to you. I'm sure you can do it yourself. Simplify and get the answer.